UTEP's first official practice of the fall today was cut short by lightning. I'd actually like to believe that that was Dion Hankins lightning quick speed that uh, caused the radars uh, to go off this afternoon. In year five under Damon Dimmel, expe expectations are higher than they've ever been coming off a trip to the New Mexico Bowl. Today was step one towards meeting and maybe exceeding those expectations. The first of 20 training camp practices before UTEP gets into game week mode for its August 27th clash with North Texas. Now pick to finish sixth of Conference USA this season. The Miners boast 13 returning starters, including its entire defensive line from a very destructive unit last year. In the lead up to the season opener, the KTSM 9 sports team will answer five burning questions about UTEP football. We'll lead off today with the wide receivers after the Miners lost their top two targets from 2021. Sam Guzman was at Glory Field today and he has a few of the answers. Hey Colin, it's another fall training camp for UTEP football. The team says the energy levels are the same as years before, but what is different is the expectations. Remember, the Miners last year, 7-6 and six record, made a bowl game appearance first since 2014. This time around, they're looking to meet the bar and raise it even higher after having a successful season last year. I think they each, each person, if they work on getting individually better and then making their teammates around them better, it's going to help our football team uh, to improve quite a bit. So that's going to be very important, not to be complacent with what we did, but to really strive to try to do some really special things this season. No, guys are definitely ready for August 27th. You know, you could tell, because like, since we were working out in the summer, guys couldn't wait to put pads on this fall. So, you know, just being out there and first day out, man, it's a lot of great things, you know, we have, we have planned for August 27th, you know, just... Yeah. Now, throughout the fall training camp, we will be answering some burning questions about this Miners team. The first one, the wide receiver position. The Miners lost their two top targets from last season in Jacob Cowing and Justin Garrett. They've got Tyron Smith coming back, a guy who had a breakout season last year. And they've got Ray Flores, a man looking to take a bigger role in the wide receiver position. But they've also brought in new talent like Kelly Akari. Regardless of who is starting, the group says they're very talented and they're ready to show what they have out on the field. You you can't really hone in on one of us. Um, if you try to lock one up, we got two, three guys next up ready to go and make plays. So our wide receiver group is going to be talented and great. Uh, for sure, we have a lot of playmakers in that um, in that position, you know, and we have some newcomers that came in that are playmakers. We also have guys that are, uh, were here last year that can step up and make big plays for us. Now, with a lot of depth at the wide receiver position, that is a good thing for quarterback Gavin Hardison, especially after the season he had last year, threw for 3,000 plus yards and a lot of touchdowns. There'll be targets he'll be looking to hit this year. That wraps up uh, day one of the fall training camp for UTEP football. Reporting from Glory Field, Sam Guzman, KTSM 9 Sports. Thank you, Sam. Another big note, leading tackler Breon Hayward still cannot practice as he awaits a waiver from the NCAA for a sixth year of eligibility. We'll see if that does come through anytime soon.